So the recipe and how I do it. <laughs> so obviously I started with the harvest. Then I removed the berries from the greens, from the stalks. And the best way for me to do it is with the fork, as you can see. If you know any better idea, please share your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you only use the blackberries, which are the ripest ones, so they really need to be ripe. And you see it when you see blackberries. <laughs> the next step is to give it a really good wash and remove all the green beads or at least most of them and some bugs and so on if you see any and I'm pretty sure you will that's nature So I moved the berries into large pot. You can still see some little green beads, but that's okay. Now the sugar and water. By the way, uh, apart from blending the recipe uh, in the video, uh, you can also check it on my website permaculturehaven.com and I will put the link in the description below. So yeah, now bringing it all to boil and of course you need to stir in between. I really recommend you to get a really large pot and watch it because as you can see here when it starts to boil so it's like growing in the pot <laughs> now is also the time to turn the heat down and cook it slowly on a low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you see the little berries burst like when you take and have a look they look like half empty or like they easily get smashed in the pot with a, with a spoon and of course you need to stir in between as well now is the time to drain it and I'm using here uh, it's like a, this funny colander <laughs> I've got it from Germany. The name of it is Flotte Lotte, but you could also easily use a normal colander lined with a super clean kitchen towel. So everything stays in there and you just get the juice. But I am just like, it's the same like you will squeeze it. So if you don't have this, you can uh, drain it through a um, kitchen towel in a colander and then just squeeze the kitchen towel so you really get everything all the juice all the goodness out of the berries and you really need to do it with um, colander with a super tiny holes or even with a kitchen towel on top because the uh, seeds from the elderberries are very little and we don't want to have any seeds in the juice later on. And after this has been done, we move it back uh, to the stove and bring it to boil. 
and as soon as it starts to boil it's ready and yeah can be moved into the sterilized bottles or jars and if you want to know how I very easy and quickly sterilize my jars and bottles because I am reusing them over and over again so they need to be super clean and sterilized just watch my other video I will uh, add a link in the description below or if I forget <laughs> about it just check my other videos how to sterilize jars close immediately this is very important because it uh, the heat will create vacuum as it cools down and you can even hear it pop the the lid and you can also see it like when it's hot so the lid is like pumping up and when it's getting cold it's like because of the vacuum it's like you can feel it's going like lightly down you can feel it with your finger so then you sh you know it's properly closed and it can be stored for ages this is a basic recipe uh, you can dilute it in hot or cold water uh, for drinking and you can also use it as a topic for ice cream or cake or you can make a beautiful liquor delicious liquor out of it and this will be my next video where I show you how I'm doing the liquor and we also you shouldn't forget about the medicinal properties of this beauty uh, high in antioxidants and vitamin C it's boosting your immune system and helps fight all sorts of colds and flus so it's really highly valuable cordial I hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and yeah I hope I see you next time have a good one bye bye